guys thank you so much for tuning into another video so as you can see in this little collage i'm standing at the bus stop waiting for my taxi that's going to take me to the train station so that i can catch a two hour train to amsterdam airport and be on my way to turkey to meet up with my cousin and my sister it's gonna be a blast so let's go Just taking a minute to admire how put together I look for the airport. If you haven't seen this video, it's the last one I uploaded. Sorry, I should be more specific. We're in Istanbul. Um, I'm losing my nails by the minute. Like, I need a manicure so bad. So one of the first things I want to do is find somewhere to do my manicure. Get to the hotel. I am so sleepy. I want to take like a six hour nap, but I can't. Not right now, anyway. Um, my cousin has gone to get money and so has my sister so i'm stuck watching the luggage as i wait for them oh my you guys i'm so happy i'm really excited to be here i've never been to istanbul before i've never been to turkey before so this is gonna be this is gonna be a vibe can we show you guys all of it yeah no but it's actually so dark i don't understand why And this is the hotel where we stayed at and that's how the corridor looks like and this was our room at Meseret Palace and when you get in to the right the first door is the bathroom I loved all the marble detailing the gold framed mirror everything was just perfect it was just the right size for us all the appliances were new and everything it was just it looked like it was freshly refurbished I love this like royal red carpet on the floor and then this is the first room that had three beds oh my god look at the detail in the ceiling it's just giving Ottoman Empire charm I love it and then this looks like a mirror but it's actually a TV the remote is right there and then of course we have the tea making facilities as usual with the kettle over there several bottles of water which were actually not renewed uh, during our stay so we had to buy extra for ourselves just a side note hi chi and then now we enter me at sheena's room so first here hi you guys how regal does this place 
look like the camera doesn't even do it justice because and then it has a tv over here and then one of the windows here Then I'm not sure what you would call this particular sector of the room, but it was like a covered balcony you see with windows on every side. Um, this is like the master bedroom. This was just so cute. I loved it. You could see different angles of the streets. It was just really, really pretty. And then if you looked to the far end of that particular street, that's where the ocean was. And underneath the mirror over there is a little mini bar. Now our luggage has come in, everybody is tired and ready to go for breakfast, right? Yes, give me three minutes. Uh. Okay, and Shina just returns oh. to factory settings. That's nice. Hi guys, so we have taken a nap after we arrived at our hotel. And now we're going on our first walk of Turkey. Is it just one one right now? Okay, we're going down the stairs. Oh, at the top. Me want to take it here. Oh, you guys look at the chandeliers. Like this is at an Instagrammable spot. You guys, do you see this? I know. So she needs the <laughs> cameraman because I am videography. Hey, oh, we look good. Let's see what Taki's about. Oh, you could just quite be a picture. But you know, I have my problem of being tall. are exhausted we are tired but we're going out so let's get ready we're getting ready we're going out So you saw me going to shower with the little one? Yes. I was like, you'll discover that <laughs> the Lord, the Lord cannot bless wickedness. There shall be no rest. <laughs> you looking for a shower gel and I had packed one. So she smelled it right now. I was smelling it. So I'm just smelling one shower gel like this. That's what I'm saying. That's why no rest for the weekend. <laughs> Did I ask you if you packed a shower gel? The weekend shower? shall not rest. Then the you said that. Eh, no, but for 
Wow, wow, wow. Let's So we are all ready, we are all about to go out and see what uh, Istanbul stroke turkey nightlife has to offer us. The only tips on how to dress for winter, okay? Layer up, pull necks are important, okay? Pull necks. See you guys tomorrow because that's it. Adios muchachos. That was our first day. Peace. See you tomorrow. morning guys so as you just saw we went down to have breakfast and now we are going to go sightseeing i think we're going to see the mosque and at least one palace but there are several mosques in that area it's like two mosques and one big palace and they're all right next to each other so we're going to take a walk there it'll take about 15 minutes to get there and yeah let me show you guys my outfit for the day because it's cute it's very very cute very cute so this top i got from shein is very cute it's part of a two-piece set and these pants i got from primark in turkey you guys this room is so beautiful like if you have seen the room tour i did i don't think i covered the ceiling because look at the ceiling even the ceiling is pretty just um, I had the same lashes on last night, but I just added more brown shadow to make it a brown smoky eye to match the look and the outfit that I have on today. And that's about it. Mask is more suggestive than obligatory here in Turkey, but I'm going to carry my mask in my bag uh, just in case. And I'll carry my brown bag with me. This is the bag of the day. Inside those brown pants, I have black leggings, and then we have the original top I was wearing from before. You can see it, and then I have a coat, a nice, pretty uh, houndstooth jacket on top of it, and then my usual black puffer jacket on top. So, yes, and a scarf. I do layer up because I do not like the cold, and the cold doesn't like me. Okay, let's see what everybody else is wearing. San Francisco, I I would think, and Roger is there taking a picture. Hey, Roger! 
fashion is the one doing the photography. Mom will be so happy we are getting some cultural and life balance. Now this sign can help orientate us a little bit. To the right is where we've just come from, Hagia Irene. And to the left is the second courtyard and the actual top Kapi Palace that we've come to see. So that's where we are headed now. And the throngs of people on the right are just getting um, language translators and guides. Yeah, at least the, the, look at the cute ass wall behind us. So that beautiful wall that I was talking about is actually called the Gate of Salutation and it was built by the Order of Sultan Mahmud in 1468. There's a lot of information on here about the history of this wall. Feel free to pause and take a look. Back up. 
right after you pass that gate you find these beautiful miniature versions of the palace that are just so detailed please take a look at them if you have the chance they are gorgeous now according to this map we veered off to the right to head towards the imperial kitchens and from this moment on for the next four minutes i'm just going to be showing you guys some artifacts that i really found interesting and you're going to see the adult in me because what i'm excited about is like this cute little teacup this exquisite turkish carpet like very adult like stuff so if that's really not your vibe you can skip forward four minutes where we resume the vlog and go for lunch um and it's a very cute lunch so you can skip forward and see that instead And here you can read a bit of the Turkish history because Turkish coffee is very central to Turkish history. So take a moment uh, and peruse through that as well. And then next, let's look at some of the fantastic utensils they had in the palace, like this 19th century European candlestick. It's, it's just giving extra, it's giving know my worth, it's giving royalty, I love it. Like this is the kind of stuff I imagined or would be in Bridgerton, you know, if it was real. And this other 19th century vase, I feel like complements that candlestick also very nicely. And this is a bread basket. Can you imagine? Ooh. And then the crystals, baby crystals, get it to it, honey. Mm, it was just really giving opulence and of course it would rain a palace for God's sake. And with all this fine dining, of course they had fine china too, okay? So this is 18th century uh, Qing Dynasty uh, porcelain, very very expensive, very very luxurious. Another interesting artifact were these beautiful late 17th century hooker bases from China, okay? Can you see the designs? But this pink beauty is the one that just called me by my government name. Oh my god. Jerry, what a pipe. Like, we have a long history smoking shisha, man. That's why we have to go to a shisha spot today because shisha is such a big part of Turkish culture and we're definitely going to enjoy it.
get you. Guys, and if you think the architecture is beautiful in this palace, wait until you see the views. Unbelievable. Just finished our tour of the Top Kapi Palace and now we are on our way to lunch. So Sheena and Roger have are going to return their audio guides and then we'll find somewhere to eat. Uh, but so far you guys, Turkey is beautiful. Top Kapi Palace, beautiful. Like I feel like I was a Turkish princess. No, I was meant to either be a Turkish princess or I was one in my previous life. Like it's all amazing. It's so beautiful. Gold plated and gold leaf covered everywhere. It's amazing. You should definitely have it on your bucket list. So let's find lunch. So this is Turkish tea. Have the sugar like this hey, 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 Let's add sugar. That's sugar. Good Oh, <laughs> 